Hello everyone and welcome back to Driven Mad. Now in today's video, I have a very exciting one. This is an arms to armrest, which I'm gonna install in my Fiat 595 Abarth, which you can see sitting behind me. Now this is probably its major flaw, is on longer journeys. Obviously you just sort of have to have your arm sitting on your lap. Uh, it's not as nice uh, without an armrest. So this is a great little touch. Now this is like I say, an armster and uh, we'll just crack into the box and open it up. So starting off, of course, we've got the top of the armrest, the most important part. So here's the piece. You can see I've opted for the gloss black version and I also went slightly wider than I remember the last one we had. Um, and also you can see it's got a little money pouch in the back, which is really nice. It's got a little magnetic piece. Let me plonk that down there. See, look, it's got a magnetic pouch, which you can put your money in and latch up. I like that a lot. Now, I do like the gloss black because obviously everything inside my car is gloss black. And then in the back here, we have the main arm piece, which this attaches to like that. And we also have a set of screws. Uh, and it would appear the screws have fallen out their bag. Okay, so there's short ones and long ones, just two types of screws. Four short ones, four long, four long ones. Nope, that's everything in there. So all you're gonna need for this is a tiny, tiny pilot drill, way smaller than this screw here. You need to pilot hole the holes for this into your plastic, but obviously you need to be very small. Um, you can self tap these, but I wouldn't recommend it. You may as well pilot drill it just really small. Now we're gonna start by adding the top half to here before we get in the car, because that's the last piece. So there's four screw holes on the bottom here and four screw holes here. Now the curved piece and the rounded piece uh, will tell you back to front. So this is towards the front of the car facing like the handbrake and this is the back of the car facing the rear seats because it's rounded off. So we'll begin and it installs like that. Okay, so we'll start just by putting one in. If you've got a longer screwdriver than this, it would probably help you massively. Oh, I'll tell you what, that is really difficult and it really gets all your knuckles because you're dragging your hands on the inside of that. But there we are, there is the armrest. Now that feels really, this bit feels really flimsy compared to this bit. So I'm intrigued to put this on the little bit of plastic. So let's head into the car and plan how we're gonna do this. Right then, so moving into the back of the car, you can actually, I don't know if you can see, but mine has four holes in the plastic already. So I'm guessing someone's had an armrest in this car previously. Now, what you will need to do is grab your tiny little pilot drill, mark this up, it sort of fits on one way. Make sure you push down nicely so it's secure. And then you just pilot drill the holes, one, two, and then there's two on this side, three, four. And then you can screw it in. It's not the uh, most sturdy thing in the world. I will say that. It's got adjustable ratchets. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, so in here, you can see the armrest is installed. What, what, what can I say about it? I mean, quite close to the chair, which is quite good, I suppose. Um, to adjust the back of the chair is now very difficult. Armrest, as you can see, has this little opening and it's got their little gift card and it is nicely lined in uh, carpet. Also comes with one of those trolley coins, uh, which you can keep there. You can see you can keep coins in the side there. It's got clips up here for pens. Um, in the back, like I say, it has this pocket for the coins, for your cash, which is quite cool. And yeah, I mean, that's about it. It's got adjustable clicking. You can see, so you can have it really high if you wanted to, for whatever reason. Um, then it goes back down. It also has a extendable top. You see this uh, leather piece on the top that can click forwards to extend. You see that uh, that is actually remarkably handy, that little extension. It is flimsy. There's no getting away from it. It's not a great mounting position because it's not the armster's fault. It's the piece of plastic trim down here on the Fiat is really, really flimsy, like millimeter thin plastic. So it's not gonna be the sturdiest thing in the world. And you lose two cup holders, but I don't use those, I've got two at the front here. Um, but overall, actually I'm really happy with that. I think that's gonna improve the drive something chronic. 
And yeah, that's all, that's all I've got for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned a little something. It's not particularly difficult to install as you've seen. So if you want to buy one, it's a piece of cake to install. And I would highly recommend it in the Fiat 500. Like I say, it's not the sturdiest bit of kit, but it certainly does the job. Um, and yeah, I mean, in our last Fiat 500, we had one of these for over a year and had no issues with it. So I'm uh, pretty confident this will stand the test of time. So thank you guys, and I will catch you in the next video.